Have you ever done a five minute interview before, Brian? No. I'm going to put the battery in. Please, will you count us down five, four, three, two, one when it's in? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Do you have a favourite painting? No, that's far too difficult a question. Far too many pictures to choose from. Do you have a favourite artist? Michelangelo. Do you have a favourite period of art? Mm, 17th century. Do you have a favourite museum? No, I, some small museums have wonderful things in them but don't last long enough and some big ones are overwhelming. But I, no, there is no favourite. I like to be let loose in a print room, which means looking at old master drawings. Uh, because there, there you get real insight into painters and sculptors. Uh, but print rooms are very dull for other people. How would you, in a nutshell, describe your views on conceptual art? My view on conceptual art is that the concept is fine as long as it's, uh, it is the artist who is producing the concept. What I resent is the kind of thing where I would put together a carrot and a rubber glove and expect either the spectator or the curator to give it meaning. Do you think that you need to be a good drawer, good at drawing, to the be considered? The word you're looking for is draftsman. Draftsman, <laughs> thank you. Do you think you need to be a good draftsman in order to be considered a good artist? If you are going to paint or sculpt or etch or paint portraits, uh, then you need to be a good draftsman. If you're not, you're hopeless. What is art? I don't know. Does anybody know? Art is, art is something that brings people like me to life. We need it. It's a drug. I have to have it. I go skiing. I want to stop. I, three days skiing, sliding about. I need to go to a museum. I need to be fed, by, even by bad pictures. I need my fix. But, but I can't define what it is. Can you paint? Can you draw? Yes. How well? I won a prize for it once, and I, and I don't mean a school prize. I didn't do very well at school. Uh, and I sold a picture in Bond Street once. And, uh, how did you get into art criticism? Or, in fact, how did you start loving art? I started loving art because at the age of four or thereabouts my mother started taking me to the National Gallery and her instruction was very clear. In those days the gallery was virtually empty, particularly on what was called Connoisseur's Day and you had to pay sixpence to get in. So we paid our sixpences and went in and my mother said, I'm going through that way, you go that way and find the picture that you like and then come and tell me and we'll look at it together and you will tell me why you like it. You know, quite an exercise for a boy of four or five. And how did you become an art critic? By accident. Tell me. Oh, it was, um, it was after the Blunt affair. Anthony and Blunt. Anthony Blunt, yes. And I had achieved a certain unwanted notoriety. And Tina Brown, who was just reviving Tatler, wanted an art critic and thought I might do it. How did you come across Anthony Blunt? Oh, Antony was director of the Court Hill Institute when I was a student there. Did you suspect that he might be a spy? I think we all knew that he'd been a spy. What sort of upbringing did you have? Upbringing? Very erratic, no education. I didn't go to school till I was 11. Uh, so I learned about all sorts of things like Greek and Roman mythology and Christianity and the Bible, the Old Bible, the Old Testament and the meaning of the stars and so on. My mother and I used to lie on our backs on the sands at Whitstable and just look at the night sky and she would say there's Orion and there's Plough and there's so and so, and all that sort of thing. What that was my education. I could read, I could write, but I couldn't add up, I couldn't subtract, I couldn't divide and I still can't. Am I right that you use a typewriter? Yes. And you don't have a computer? No. How do you see your public image? I don't. Do you care what your public image is? Not very much. How would you describe yourself? A failure. Why? Oh, well I wanted to write the great book on Michelangelo. And I never got anywhere near it. Now it's too late.
What do you do outside of art, outside of Dogs. criticism? I have, two, I have two boyish passions or boyhood passions. One is dogs and the other is motor cars. I'm, I'm absolutely in love with old motor cars. That wasn't the strongest ring, but that is five minutes. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not at all. You didn't touch on the difficult subjects. I didn't. <laughs> we seem to rattle through.